The next thing I want to do is create a deploy script. So I'm going to be deploying this to the Gorilla testnet and I'm going to want to deploy it from hard hat. I want to do that automated way rather than doing it from Remix. So to do that, I'm going to create a new directory here and I'm going to call it scripts. I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to just save this and call it. I'm going to save this in scripts. I'm going to call it um, deploy Add a hard hat requirement. And I'm going to copy quite a lot of stuff out of this file. Only we could get signers. We don't want to deploy the Lido mock address here. The only difference is I want the charity address and Lido address, the real ones, not the mock ones. So let's calm this down. The uh, const charity address equals const Lido address equals, okay, let's go get these. The charity address is this one here. And the Lido address is this one here. We can't run this natively yet, so we're going to do async uh, const main equals async. And then finally, I'm just going to console log contract deployed to, and I'm going to input the uh, give forever dot address. And that should, in theory, deploy us to the Gorelli test net with the proper addresses in place. Okay, so we're going to do mpx hard hat run minus minus network Gorelli, and then the script that we've just created. Let's file it off. We've got some, we've made sure we've got some Gorelli ETH in our test wallet in uh, the .m file. So the problem was I didn't have an Alchemy IP key in my .m file. I've updated the sample there as well. Let's try that again, see if that works. Contract deployed to 0xFOA88. There we go, we've got a contract. This hasn't been verified, so I actually want to verify it and publish it from Hard Hat as well so that I can interact with it from Etherscan. So let's have a do, look at how to do that. Hard Hat, verify Etherscan. I'm going to copy our contract address here. And then we want to put our first argue, our construct arguments in here. We can get these from the deploy Gorelli file. So the first one is a charity address. And then we also want the Lido address. And that should verify the contract in Etherscan. And there we go. If we go back to the contract address now, we can refresh the page. The contract's been verified. The source code is published online. We've got the um, addresses here. And anyone can kind of use a block explorer now to go and check the charity address and um, the Lido address and make sure everything's in order, don't trust verify. 
We can also do things like deposit, update wallet address and withdraw from within Etherscan. We don't actually have to use a front end at all. We can actually kind of interact with that via MetaMask and Etherscan itself directly. The final thing we need to do is update our front end. So we're gonna copy this contract address. And then if we go back in here, a long way back, we have the app itself. We're gonna update this Gorelli contract address. And then we're going to also need to update the ABI because we've changed the contract a little bit. On, because we're doing it in hard hat now, the ABI is in artifacts, contracts, giftforever.so, and then giftforever.json, it's in here somewhere. There's this ABI thing here. Just copy that section there before we get the bytecode. And then we'll open up Gift Forever source, Gift Forever ABI. Save that in. That looks good. So let's finally push out the, the latest files to GitHub and that'll publish our contracts. It will publish the latest version of the website of all the contracts updated and to be used with Gorelli Testnet. So, um, live on Gorelli. You can see we've got the new uh, version of the site loaded and we can connect our wallet. Deposit some ETH. If we check that contract address, about 15 seconds, we should get that, that transaction go through and we should see a new deposit address. There we go. There it is. And go in, we deposited 0 0.0001 uh, ether and it's converted that to uh, STE for liquid staking token. Go back to the React app, it's updated our balance. I've got, actually we've got a negative surplus because we've got um, slightly less, minuscule amount less STE to ETH. This is because it keeps 0 0.00001 in the balance or there's kind of some rounding error or to prevent a rounding error. Um, but that will increase over time and we can then withdraw those funds. Once we've got a surplus in the um, contract, we can withdraw them funds to the GiveWell charity address. In the next section, we're going to be deploying this to Ethereum mainnet. That's where things get real and we start using real funds.